Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCG Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool deck I've got here using both Macargo GX and Colossal. Now of course Macargo GX is rotating, so I wanted to play it one last time. And the way I have decided to combo it with, it would be with Colossal using Tar Generator to put a Fighting and a Fire Energy uh, from the discard pile onto Macargo GX, building it up for the attack Lava Flow. Discard any amount of basic energy on this Pokemon, does 50 plus 50 more damage for each one. So you're already doing 50 and then extra energy is 50 more on top. So we're just gonna try to build up Macargo through Colossal and go from there. And that's pretty much what the deck is all about. This is the list I'm rocking with here. It's a pretty fun deck to play uh, when it sets up. So uh, yeah, before the video guys, of course, share to our sponsor Card Kevin TCG. As always guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get over to Card Kevin guys if you happen to have any codes or cards laying around that you don't really need anymore. You can give them to Card Kevin TCG. They will give you cash and in-store credit for your unused codes and cards. And of course guys, um, if you're still looking for any PDC Joe pack code in general, uh, if you're still looking for Rebel Clash packs, team-up codes, Unbroken Bonds codes, get them over at Card Kevin TCG. Or if you want to get a specific GX or V code, like maybe pick up the Dedenne Trainer Toolkit code, get them over at Card Kevin TCG. If you get anything from Card Kevin, guys, use code LDF to check out for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Cabin. You guys can also give my articles a read. I posted over there too. Just posted a new one on an Eternatus VMAX deck. Um, giving you guys like a little bit of a sample. It's kind of breaking down the deck in the articles. If you guys want to go give that a read, uh, do so. And uh, also guys, you want to pledge $2 a month to my Patreon to support the channel and all that good stuff. And get access to exclusive content. Um, check out my Patreon. Only $2 a month. And I'll probably have new tiers eventually too. So let's take a look at the list here. So Macargo Colossal. Um, it's cool. Again, Lava Flow it does work with Fight Energy, which is also a bonus with uh, Colossal here. Now, the only issue with this deck, you're using a Stage 1 and a Stage 2, which is a little slow. Uh, if you get past that, you're chilling. Uh, some other stuff from the deck I am playing, of course, Jirachi for the setup, Mew to protect our bench for Pika, Ditto for the extra slug, but you can also use it as another really cool. Um, got a Dedenne. Dedenne is really good, obviously, in Colossal to discard energy. Uh, going to the rest of the deck, I am playing Evo Instance and 2Com for the search. Four Rare Candy, four Quick Balls, one Ornery Raw to get back Macargo GX. Now, I guess I am playing a Smooth Over. I should probably mention this. Now, this is like something I'm debating whether or not it's even worth it. But if you can get an extra Slugma in play or something, or use a Ditto, Smooth Over doesn't hurt. You can keep guaranteeing cards. Like, you can Smooth Over for the next turn and, you know, maybe guarantee another Slugma, guarantee an Energy, guarantee Rare Candy, Colossal in the early game. Uh, but it debatably you don't need this you could swap this out for like an extra Macargo GX or like I don't know like a Rosa or something could go in here too I got two switch one Viridian as my stadium because we want to use it to get rid of energy in the discard four tar generator two boss for Cynthia for research two skateboard three fight and energy Eight fires. So yeah, that's it for the colossal Macargo deck pretty cool deck when it sets up It's fun to play. So let's go try down PC Joe scene action and see if we can uh, beat anyone with good old Macargo GX one last time all right, guys, getting into our first match. Looks like we're playing against another fighting deck. Now, this could be Phalanx, but I don't know if it will be, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of types in the deck, though it could be. They're actually letting me go first. Okay, I guess it is a Phalanx deck then, and oh, wow. This is uh, not the ideal starting hand I was hoping for. If we can get a Quick Ball top deck, I'll feel a little bit better. We actually do a Quick Ball. Um, okay, it looks like they're playing Flygon. I'm gonna get Slugma here. Alright, we're gonna have to do with the good old Dead A change. We are gonna lose it. We could have maybe held the hand. Let's see if we would have drawn a Colossal. No, okay. There's Colossal. Oh! Busted hand. Do I want to stay in the active? I think I do. Alright. This hand's pretty good. The only thing missing is the draw supporter, but we do have the turn to Colossal, which means we have the turn to Lava Flow knockout on whatever my opponent is playing. Let's just check for Stadium. All right, this is definitely a uh, Flygon GX deck. If I had to guess what they're playing, this is probably Flygon. Ooh, the Avengers Asian. Well, hopefully they can do more stuff here. I don't want to just knock this thing out and then have them concede on me, especially when our start's actually like kind of decent. I would uh, really suck if they just concede after we knock out the trap pitch. Maybe we should just like be generous and do Burning Magma. Nah, that's kind of silly. All right, let's see what we draw here. Viridian. Don't think we really need that. Okay. Yeah, hopefully they don't concede here because we're about to just body this trap engine. And it only has 50 HP too, so we only have to get rid of one energy here, which is kind of good. Uh, we'll play the Viridian, I guess. Sure, it'll thin the deck out one card. It's actually not too bad. The more cards we thin, the better. We'll just Lava Flow. Bye-bye, Trap Pinch. Sorry, buddy. Let's see who we draw. 
quick ball number two okay well we still can't play a supporter right now which means they could very well set up a uh, another flygon possibly i think we're just gonna have the quick ball for another slug here yeah and we could go slugma and then like evolve next turn to smooth over guarantee a supporter but i actually don't really mind being in top deck mode because we're in such a good spot right now plus we're taking two prizes it looks like so i think we're chilling it's just my opponent needs to set up we just had such a good start there um, it's, you know, just kind of hard when your start is literally the perfect start. Where we get the turn 2 Colossal Macargo knockout. Alright, well, they do have a Machamp and Marshadow. That could be an easy three prizes. Maybe we just knock out Zacian, and then we just gotta knock out the Machamp Marshadow with, uh, good old... Good Lava Flow, which I think we can pull off. Mm, but they are going for a Rosa here. Search deck for a Pokemon Trainer and a Basic Energy. What could they get? Big Charm, Trap Pinch, Energy. Okay. Hmm. I mean, Flygon can one-shot Makargo, which is what I'm scared of. It's not a... Okay. Yeah, let's just Quick Ball. We maybe should just get Jirachi then. Because we have the Escape Board. Yeah, we'll just get Jirachi. Let's keep doing... Good old Tar Generator here. Um, we'll take our KO. All right, cool. Let's see what our draws are. Another Colossal. Don't need it. If we had another Roly Coley, that'd be pretty lit. We might have to fall back a couple turns if they do knock out Makargo. This turn, we might have to fall back maybe by a couple turns. That might happen. Just because our we we can't find a supporter. Like our setup was really good. It's just we need to follow the support. We do have Jirachi though, so as soon as my cargo goes down, we can just do Jirachi here. It looks like they are gonna capture MG. Are they gonna damage me this turn? Oh, they have a switch. Okay, what are they doing? Counter Stadium. Well we can't thin it anymore. Alright, let's see what we draw. There we go, we drew a research. Now we're swinging, we just need another slug here, which we do find alongside a Macargo. Cool beans. See, when this deck sets up, it's good, eh? I mean, that's for any deck, really. I mean, my opponent's probably gonna knock me out here. Um, I'm gonna spread out the energy a little bit. And we're just gonna lava flow. All right, yeah, next turn we should have and We have boss in our hand, so we can probably boss him a champ Marshadow next turn, knock it out, I think. Looks like my opponent's going to go in with Flygon GX. They're going to run and blue into a Flygon. That will knock me out. I think as long as we know Whiff and Energy here, we should have a return KO with our own Macargo. We'll find out. Did they just fail red and blue? Okay, no, they didn't. I was like, what? Wait, did they? Yo, I think they did. Bruh. They failed the... What is this game, bro? Oh my gosh, this... And we drew an energy to win. Wow. Wow, dude, they failed the Flygon. <laughs> they failed the red and blue. What are they doing? All right, I'm pretty sure this is game. We just got to get rid of all the energy. It's not? Oh, wow. Oh, I miscounted. I miscounted. Yikes. That's fine. We still, we have a game next turn. It doesn't matter, but still, it's like a little miscount there. I don't know why they misplayed, though. Don't know why they misplayed. There's a tag call. Get in there, Malolana and Red and Blue again. They can Malolana here. That's not going to make a difference, though, because we're still going to blow them up with Macargo here. Yeah, they're going to get rid of two cards. Yeah, the heal. They have 170 HP. But we're still going to knock him out, and that's going to be that. I mean, we got pretty much, like, as close as the best setup was we could have gotten against this, uh, I mean, like, literally the almost a perfect setup. The only thing missing was, like, a draw supporter for a couple turns, but we pretty much got what we were looking for. We got the ideal setup. That's, that's really all you need. It's just, like, the best setup you can get. Wait, I can't even attack. What am I doing? I can't attack. Oh, they concede. I... Bro. Why did I think it was fire? Oh, okay. That was just a mess of a match. That was just a weird game on both sides. Let's just move on.
All right, guys, getting into another match. Ooh, up against a grass deck. This could be a possible Rillaboom deck. Now, they could have weak guard energy, obviously, but if they don't, they're going to get bodied by Macargo, which is pretty good if you ask me. All right, let's see how our stars look in here. We get a Jirachi roll. Pretty good start, actually, not going to lie. I might just get rid of the Macargo with this quick ball. I don't know. Let's move over it, like... They haven't found an opportunity to use it yet, so I don't know if it's like even needed, but it's like in theory it's really good. I don't know. Ooh, Cynthia draw? Alright, we'll get rid of this. We'll get that slug. Um don't know what I need. I'll take the rare candy. If we can hit a uh we can hit Colossal off our top deck or Calm, we can get the turn two Colossal, which we don't really need right now, because we didn't get any energy in the discard. We could get a Marnie to actually maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the candy in case of a Marnie. That could honestly happen. I could foresee my opponent doing Marnie here. All right, yeah, as long as they just don't have weak guard energy, we're chilling. All right, there's a Grookey. They are gonna get the turn at one Rillaboom, it looks like. Hmm, which is a little tough. I'm not just too scared of Tropical Hour. It's mostly just like, the Rillaboom VMAX is kind of scary, to be honest, especially if they have weak guard energy. Okay, why did they evolve that? Wait, what? Why would they evolve? Wait, I am so confused. What just happened? All right, let's get the stage two, one guy here. Wait, what? We could have gotten Rare Candy Colossal. <laughs> Dude, I am off my game today. I apologize, guys. I am off my game. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I apologize. I deeply apologize for being kind of bad right now. I should, well, I had the turn to Colossal. Why did I? Why did I do that, bro? What the heck am I thinking? I'm honestly tempted to do Burning Magma here. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like just going Burning Magma. Just got the top five cards of his deck. Maybe we can rip some good cards. Like, cause we're not gonna get knocked out next turn. Obviously, he's not even gonna. He's not even going to attack me. Unless he has a rare candy Rillaboom in his hand. But it's not like Mac is beating to kill me. So I think I am just going to take a turn here, do Burning Magma. I'm kind of uh, kicking myself right now for being the big the big dummy of the hour. We could Crushing Charge. I mean, we hit an energy, we knock him out. Might as well try it. Oh, and it was the Ordinary Rod. Uh, yeah, it was a yikes. Alright, here we go, Burning Magma. Alright, we got rid of a Boom. Got rid of Marnie, too. Okay, not the worst discards ever. I don't know if they have weak guard, but I would have liked to have seen a weak guard. Man, I am just off my game today. I need to wake up, even though I am awake. But I'm making some pretty weird misplays in this in this video. Again, we don't really need the Colossal right now anyways, which is fine, but... I need to stop playing like a fool. Um, I wish we had a boss right now, so we could just boss... I'd rather knock out this first, because... The Egg Row is not that scary. Like, I don't really care about Tropical Hour. The thing that scares me the most is Max beating. Well, that's fine. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's going to make those rare candies clunky, too. That means I have four candies I can't use. So we don't have another Rolly in play. Man. I don't know why I did that. I was like... Whatever. We, we I spaced out. All right. Let's see if they uh, do anything here. They get a Delmice? Okay, that can be a, like a back of attacker. None of these Pokemon can one-shot Macargo, though. Why are they doing Super Growth? I, what? What is going on? All right, well. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> don't know why they're not doing Super Growth. Uh, there's the boss for next turn. Oh, we didn't get Colossal, though. Why did I not do Rare Candy? It's like literally costing me now because we don't even have Colossal. Because I'm dumb and I didn't play Rare Candy. All right, whatever. Let's just take a knockout. Dang it, dude. This is kind of... I would have won here. Okay, never mind. We got the Colossal. We're chilling. We're chilling. Dang it, though. I would have won the game if I uh, if I did Rare Candy Colossal. Well, they might Marnie me, though. They could definitely Marnie me. And this is a hand I don't really want to get marnie away. Okay. I, my opponent... Bro. Why did they not do Super Growth last turn? They didn't even... They like, Bro, my opponent... I don't even know what's going on anymore with my opponent. They had so many opportunities to do stuff. Like, they could have done Turn 1 Rillaboom. Okay, they have Marnie. We could still hit a Colossal here, which we do. And we got an Escape Board for Drachi. This is a pretty good hand. Yeah, as long as we got the Fighting and the Fire in the discard, we're chilling. They're building up this Rillaboom. Not scared of it anymore, as long as they don't hit a... Uh, 
hit a weak guard energy where we can't one shot this but i mean we can knock this out then boss knock this out it's not that hard or boss knock this out this is just a weird game but that's what happens when you make when you make bad misplays all right let's build up the big boy here we'll he's weak to fire right yeah okay just making sure you never know anymore with pokemon Yeah, I mean, we're up against a grass type. I mean, this matchup was going to be easy regardless of what was going to happen. Even if, well, like, if they had weak RNG, it would have made things a little bit more difficult. But, I mean, if they're playing a grass deck, man, it's it's about as easy as you can get of a matchup. The only way they can stop me here is if they, um, is if they boss my Colossal. If they do that, we're slowed down by one turn. So, that could happen. They might have a boss. They played one boss already, though. And they have a five-card hand. It's it's unlikely, but it's possible. No, okay, just a Marnie. All right, that's fine. If they don't get a weak RNG here, that's going to be all she wrote, folks. Yeah, this game was just a mess. This was another mess. <laughs> all right, don't worry, guys. Next game, I'll stop making weird misplays. That's two misplays I've made in this video. Even though my opponent did concede there in that last game when we uh, couldn't attack. It's like still I gotta wake up and like not play like a dummy today. Alright, let's see what we draw here. Yeah, boss. That's game. So even if they had a weak RG, we just drew our out to winning the game. But uh we're gonna go out in a blaze of glory, no pun intended, because we're gonna do a insane amount of damage to this Rillaboom V Max here. Get ready for this. This thing's weak to fire, right? Okay, just making sure, just in case I don't have game. Alright, here we go. How much this can be doing like five hundred damage. Literally on the dot, bro. It's like, I called it, bro. 500 damage, Rillaboom VMAX, HP power creep buff, nothing, bro. Just get out of here. All right. Next game. I'm going to slow down on the misplays. Trust. We get some challenges done? Give me those coins, bro. We need the we need a nice thick amount of coins for darkness. All right, guys. Get into another match here. I didn't really get to see what we were up against here. So we'll have to see. It could be a Pika deck. They got that lightning deck box. So it could be... A potential Pika Rom deck. Alright. They do win the coin flip, but they're gonna let me go first. Interesting. And ooh, lots of Pokemon here. I'm gonna start with Mew, just because I don't want to start with anything else. This is a pretty decent hand. All we really need is a supporter or a way to go to Dene. Not okay, we didn't get that yet. Looks like they're playing a Pika deck. This is where using Colossal comes in handy, because we have the option to deck Colossal, as long as they don't put a big charm on. Uh, I wish this hand was a little bit better, though. Uh, it's the only problem. Getting four basics is good, but when you have no supporter... Ooh, they're playing Bolton Naganadel with a Roar Energy. That means they might be playing Venom Shot. Yeah, I wish this hand was better. Ugh. We need to trade knockouts on these Boltons with Macargo, because I think they're always going to knock me out. But we do have the Object of Colossal. Maybe we'll be fine. We do need to draw something. Please Marnie me. Oh! Let's go. I called it, and it paid off. Let's go. Let's go. That's a pretty good hand, too. Research. Love to see it. Okay, they are electrifying. They are pretty set up here, thanks to the electrify allowing them to get energy. They have a double poi pull, so the music on are here for sure. Let's see we draw. Boss. I don't think we really need that, to be honest. I'm not too scared of Nagandal. The only problem is Nagandal could one-shot uh, Colossal with Turning Point if they ever get that turn. There's Rare Candy Colossal. It's actually a pretty good hand, too. We can do a lot here. We could go smooth over, which we might as well. In fact, we can knock them out here, I think, if we can find a switching card. Yes, yeah, so we have to get a switching card. So let's go here. Dead A change. Oh, no, we could have retreated and knocked them out. What am I doing? No, we can't retreat. What am I saying? Okay, we still got them, right? Because we can Colossal to the Mew. Yeah, okay, we still got the knockout. We still got there. Then we smooth over, crushing charge. Uh, yeah, I'll put a fire. I was thinking about maybe putting fighting on there. The more fighting in the discard pile, the better. Okay, cool. Alright, this works out. Maybe having the smooth over my cargo is not so bad. I was genuinely 
like maybe like, hey, do we really need this Macargo? But apparently it's actually paying off because it allowed us to do a nice quick magma flow knockout here. Pretty good stuff. It's just our bench is a little clunky. I would have liked to have ideally had a second Rolly Coley in play. Oh, rare candy. We have a boss in our hand. So next turn, we can take a boss knockout. It looks like they're still going bolt on. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kill me here. Unless they play B-String. The only way they can knock me out, I feel like, is if they have a B-String. If they play B-String, they can definitely knock out my cargo. We'll see if they have it or not. But that was pretty good. That was a pretty good combo. So yeah, maybe Smooth Over is not so bad. So you can play aggressive like that. Yeah, maybe I was mistaken about my boy. That's cool. Another cool thing, if this was against a Pika deck and they built a Pika and then they knock him out full blitz, we could still knock him out Colossal because we put the two energy on it, we attach, and then we can smooth over Slugma, crushing charge the energy onto Colossal. So we could get a four energy Colossal out of nowhere. Okay, they do have B-String. Ooh, that's pretty bad. But their hand is dead, which means they aren't KOing me here. I'm pretty sure this is not knocking me out. I don't think that's enough energy. Okay, yeah, it's not. All right. That's pretty much going to be almost about wrapped up. I don't really know what my opponent can do at this point. Okay, we gotta put the fire energy on. I gotta remember that. I almost put the fire energy on by accident, which would have been pretty bad. We gotta smooth over for another energy, which will be the other fighting. No crushing charge. Alright, yeah. So this Macargo is literally MVPing us right now. Yeah, this Macargo is a good call. I'm not gonna play anything from our hand. I'm just gonna take the knockout here. Uh, we could knock out Nagandel, take the energy off the board. There's no point in doing that. I think we just want to knock out their threat. They can knock me out here with Nagandel, but that's not really going to do much for them. There's a quick ball. Research. Right. Well, yeah, we're just going to chill with our hand. The quick ball is pretty good. Uh, could have used it last turn, actually. Yeah, they just draw zero, or that's not really doing much for them. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much that. We just need to not whiff another Macargo here. So we promote the slug. Maybe we should know. We should maybe promote that. I don't know. Oh, the calm top deck. Yeah, we're going to bench another Roly Coley. This is pretty good. Get the Macargo. Evolve. Tar generator. As long as we have another, fight or, uh, another fire energy left in the deck, we can attack. If not, I'll just do Burning Magma. I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay, we got another fire. We're chilling. Crushing Charge. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. This deck's playing pretty well. This was a pretty good match. I'm glad we got to show off the Macargo because I was scared we weren't get to really use it. I just attach here and win the game. What am I doing? Why would I not? Forgot about boss. Pretty quick win. Three KOs in succession thanks to the Colossal Macargo combo and Smooth Over being the MVP. I guess we want to keep Smooth Over in the deck because it is what won us the game there. That was pretty good stuff. We get 50 coins. I think we have that rare chest to open up, too. Yeah, we do. All right, cool stuff. We'll see you guys in another match. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to wrap today's PDCGO video here, guys, with the Macargo match. I don't really... Um, I got stuff to do. Don't really... Oh, 120 coins? Bro, I have never gotten that out of a rare chest before. Oh, let's go, bro. That might be the best chest I have had in a minute, bro. That is amazing. We got a Labyrinth VMAX, dude. Chill. Yeah, but I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. I think we showed off the tech pretty well. Don't really... I just want to get back to playing Sword and Shield. Okay, that's my excuse. That's my reason. Yes. I just want to play some Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, I think I did a good job showing off pretty much everything the deck needs to do. Um, honestly, if I were to make any changes about this deck, maybe it would be to add a Rosa or two. I think Rosa would be pretty good in here. And maybe play an Entei or a Machamp Marshadow. I think this deck could use an extra Fighting Attacker. To help you in those matches where it's good. But other than that, I mean, I think we did a good job showcasing this deck. I think I'd also maybe add in an Island Challenge amulet or a big charm. Just any way for my cargo to either not give up as many prizes or have more HP. Those are two other cards that I definitely add to the deck. Other than that, I think we did a good show good job showcasing today's deck. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me they're reaching 10,000 subscribers, guys. And of course, if you want to pledge two dollars to my Patreon to support the channel and get access to exclusive content, check it out and pledge. $2, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day. Follow me on Twitter down below. Check out the sponsor, Karkov and TCG. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on another video.